Yeah, I'm here with uh, Richie Garner. You're uh, promoting the promoter, uh, manager, trainer. Yeah, do a, do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Spend about you know a lot of money on board, paying fees. <laughs> but it's been a long time since I paid any fines. So um, you know, being a good boy for a change. Yeah, we've uh, obviously got uh, the show tonight in Brangwen Hall. How much are you looking forward to the show, and uh, what do you think people should be looking out for on shows like these? Um, to be honest with you, we got uh, a couple of good lads on here, but the fights that are going to steal the show are probably going to be the girls. We've got Victoria Perkins fighting. We have got uh, Ashley Johnson, who I manage, uh, fighting, and they've got some really tough opponents. They are probably are going to be barnstormers of fights there. I, I put them near top of the bill for that. And um, just for that benefit, I think that it's going to be a real crowd pleaser, particularly Ashley Johnson. She's fighting a girl. The last time she fought, the girl she fought was uh, much taller than her. And she gave away a little bit of weight as well. This time she's on weight. She's uh, 57 kilos, which is where she wants to be. Um, she looks absolutely fantastic at the weight. And not just that, but she's fighting a girl who's uh, equally as tall as her rather than towering over her. Um, so what you'll see is her marauding forwards, catching punches, um, you know, in strong exchanges and and hopefully um, getting a strong win. But uh, both of those girls, Perkins and Johnson, look out for them tonight because they're the girls to watch. Yeah, obviously uh, there's <clears throat> a lot of competitive uh, fights on the card tonight. Yeah, um, yeah. Aaron Bird's got a tough fight. Yeah. Um, he's got a very tough fight. Ben Thomas is uh, coming to have a little bit of a go. I understand he's... Uh, He's saying he's, he's, he's looking forward to it. Um, Aaron Bird, though, fantastic mover, some good hand speed, uh, great defensively as well. He's very difficult to catch. Um, there's every possibility that after this fight, we might be working towards, if possible, um, a Welsh title fight um, or a Celtic title fight between him and one of the other guys that I manage, Jake Anthony. And um, there's agreements in principle with uh, Richard Grigg, who's involved with, uh, with Aaron Bird. And that could be something that's on the horizon for the future. But Aaron, obviously, fighting a six-rounder, needs to put in a good performance today. Um, Jake has previously, obviously, done uh, the ten rounds with uh, Morgan Jones for the Welsh title. And unfortunately, we didn't come away with the victory there, despite what most of the crowd thought. It was, uh, it was still a very entertaining fight. And I think that the fight between those two, again, will be very similar to the Morgan Jones fight in terms of... Jake likes to come forward, he's very aggressive, and as I've already said, Aaron is a classic stand-up boxer and likes to work behind the jab. So it'll be all about those styles, meshing, gelling, and seeing who comes out on top. But that's one for the future. Tonight, Aaron's got to get past Ben Thomas, and that's a very tough fight in itself. Uh, yeah, you obviously talked about uh, Welsh title fights. Uh, probably haven't seen as many of those over recent years as we've liked, and there's a few vacant titles out there. There are, yeah. Is yeah, it yeah. Uh, something you're interested in getting more regularly on these cards? I, I would love, I would love to be making Welsh title fights in Wales more, more so than Celtic title fights. It's, it's a little bit of a strange one in terms of the fact that the Celtic title fights, uh, I just think they're a little bit fairer, particularly for the away fighter. You've got three judges, and, and I genuinely think that that's the way it should be. The Welsh title is an area title, sadly. Um, I mean, the, the board kind of upgraded it, but it essentially is still, a, it's still an area title, which is a bit sad, really. Uh, it denigrates the title, I think. But in any event, I'd like to see Welsh lads using each other for a platform, the best fighting the best and moving forward. But you've got a situation whereby, obviously, you've got rival, rival managers, promoters, and they all want their boy to be the home fighter, and especially when you're in a situation whereby if you're fighting for a Welsh title, you've only got one judge, the referee, and the home fighter obviously kind of gets that advantage and, and kind of gets precedent when it comes to close rounds and, and and everyone's kind of reluctant to take that risk and put their boys in fights on away shows which is perhaps why I prefer the Celtic title fights because obviously as I've said you get the three judges but ultimately um, any title fights that you know we can make myself Mo Pryor as well you know a very good friend of mine in promoting and uh, you know jointly promotes and and, and manages in Wales um, you know, we, we're, we're looking to make these these competitive fights, but it's very difficult to get past the managers sometimes. You know, I'm one of them. I can be difficult. Um, they're just doing their job. But sometimes it's, it's quite difficult to make these fights. And, um, you know, I, I'd love to see some of these fighters, you know, kind of calling each other out. And, you know, it, it's always nice when you get a bit of social media and a bit of a buzz around fights. 
Um, there's been a bit of an exchange, not a nasty one, you know, very respectful between, I understand, between Jake and, and, and Aaron Bird, for example. Um, you know, it's always nice when you have that social media build up for these fights to rouse the public interest. And anybody who's interested in fighting anybody in Wales for a Welsh title on my, my you know, on my, on my watch, I'm more than happy to try to put those fights on. Yeah, uh, obviously talking about the public interest in boxing as well is uh, quite a boom period. I mean, I think with boxing, uh, people are always uh, looking out for the big shows. But how sort of important do you think it is for people to support these uh, small hall shows such as these? But when you've got competitive fights on, like we have tonight with the girls, with, with Aaron Bird in particular, um, it's very sad when you know there's not great, a great amount of people watching these fights because ultimately, if you're a boxing fan, grassroots boxing is where the fun is. Uh, Willie Gilhaney in his last fight, his first fight, his debut fight um, with Steve, uh, another Welsh lad, ironically, um, who's down as a journeyman but always comes and has a go. You know, that was a toe-to-toe -to -toe war, you know. Um, and, and if you're a boxing fan, if you're a true boxing fan, if you love boxing, those are the types of fights you want to you wanna see. Um, you know, uh, you can go and watch AJ, fantastic. Um, you can watch him in Wembley and you can pay £500 for a ticket and sit, you know, two football pitches away and watch it on the big screen. Absolutely fantastic. Does that make you a boxing fan? I'm not sure it does. What it makes you is, in my opinion, a, a bit of a sucker, um, you know, or for anywhere between 60 and 80 quid, um, you know, you can sit ringside and watch a barnstormer, you know, as a boxing fan, what should you really be looking out for? If you're a true boxing fan, I think you're here and you're watching the Welsh titles, you're watching the, the Celtic titles, you know, even, I mean, for example, I mean, you know, I remember years and years ago watching, um, you know, fights in the CIA and stuff like that, you know, I, a crikey, even, I remember going back and watching um, Enzo, Enzo Macronelli, who's here tonight, who trains um, Ashley Johnson and, and Willie Gilhaney, you know, I remember watching him in Cardiff, you know, it wasn't a massive show, um, you know, tickets prices were reasonable back then and you know i was treated to um a fantastic fight between him and bruce scott which was a real barnstormer you know um swung both ways you know enzo caught some good shots and then ultimately he had an absolute highlight real knockout of, of bruce scott which is definitely worth watching on youtube um you know it was quite a high profile show but it wasn't you know you're not you're not talking about going out to saudi you're not talking about going to wembley you don't need to be going to those places if you're a boxing fan you know you, you can get a ticket here for 40 quid and you know there's nowhere in this hall where you don't get a good view and you can watch fantastic boxing you know these are the places fans really need to be coming to if they want to watch you know high level high quality boxing uh yeah uh looking forward to the show tonight and we'll uh, catch up with you later thanks for your time all right cheers guys